Hey guys, it's Ruzwain and welcome back to my channel. We've got a face camless video today because your girl is busy. I have a month left to write the rest of my thesis and it's kind of a scary thing. Anyway, today I've got a cast video for you. I'll be introducing seven of my own lovely sims that I've added into this LP to spice things up a little bit. Now, I've actually already made these sims, so what you're going to see is primarily a retouch, glow up, whatever. I'm just trying to bring their hair and clothes back because I don't have the same CC anymore. <laughs> on Sunday, I will upload the actual first episode of the LP. This video is more of a prologue, context setting kind of video. Let's get into it. First up is Cadence Haywood. Her bio reads, Cadence is studying law at university. She's most definitely going to open her own law firm someday. At least, that's what her parents said. It's either that or she works for her parents' law firm after all. She constantly complains about her heavy law textbooks in her bag, and in her spare time, she browses dank law memes. She's the VP of her uni's law society. Wait, did she mention that she studies law? <laughs> her aspiration is fabulously wealthy, of course, and her traits are erratic, unflirty, and bookworm. So for her character, I just went with the stereotypical law student that always makes it about their law studies in every single conversation that they are in. I know this because I have been that person, and I know other people like this because I myself have studied business law, okay? <laughs> Anyway, in the original LP, the wheel spun Cadence as my sim self's best friend. There was this really fun episode where Cadence and I were just dancing the night away at some decrepit club in Windenburg. Fun times. <laughs> her entire aesthetic is just all black and I made her have a little bit of a glow up by dressing her in something more eye-catching. Next, we've got Christopher Ford. Christopher is at Foxbury University to get a biology degree. Despite his young age, he is well distinguished in the academic world and admired by his peers. 100% teacher's pet. As his aspiration is to be a friend of the animals, he hopes to become a veterinarian someday. He's a hardworking person, but a little bit stoic and sometimes gloomy. Probably because he's diving in textbooks 24-7. Also, his traits are gloomy, cat lover, and vegetarian. In the original LP, he was actually an adult sim, but I don't know, I kind of had a change of heart and I wanted him to be a young adult because to be honest, he looked too much like a lecturer or professor in my opinion. So obviously he does end up looking quite different from his original design. I don't think I interacted with him too much, like we were just friendly roommates and probably were introduced to each other once and never really talked again. Which is kind of weird because I think that uh, my sim self did take biology in that old LP. Also, all the descriptions say Foxberry, I think. And that's just because the wheel spin chose Foxberry as my university. Um, of course, if it spins differently this time around, I'll move everyone over to Brightchester. Our next sim is Dia Hong. Dia, short for diamond, is an exchange student at blank university studying history. Her introverted nature seems to be getting in the way of her exchange experience though. Good thing she brought her favorite stuffed toy given to her by a childhood friend. Will she go back home with valuable experiences or will she end up regretting this decision? Dia aspires to find a soulmate. She's also a loner, foodie, and neat. So to me, Dia is just this really sweet and really gorgeous sim, I've gotta say. I was totally admiring her while I was giving her a glow up for this revamped LP. I was like, wow, I can't believe I made this beautiful sim. Anyway, I think it's the long hair that does it. I can't for the life of me remember the CC creator though. If I had control over this LP, I would love to be Dia's friend. Like, I think we'd be friends in real life, maybe. Because I can totally relate to the experience of being an international student and feeling so lost in a foreign country, dealing with all of these overwhelming emotions, ups and downs, excitement and regret. But of course, I'm at the mercy of the wheel. I just hope that we don't become enemies. For 
for our fourth sim, we've got Haley Sinclair. Haley used a lot of CC, I think, so when I put her into cast, she just had absolutely nothing on. Haley is a Foxbury University student who is studying arts. She loves fashion and has built up a bit of a following with her online fashion blogs. She also takes her creativity to the next step by making her own clothing. Indeed, she could have taken a distinguished fine arts degree at Brightchester, but she actually doesn't even want to waste time with a uni degree. She just wants to start up her online business. Why do her parents insist on paying thousands for words on a paper? Her aspiration is to be a painter extraordinaire and her traits are outgoing, dance machine, and creative. Haley, I think, is also such a gorgeous sim. I wish I found her original CC dress though, it was one of my faves. It was this long, form-fitting dress that was backless and it reached all the way to the floor. I imagine that she made that dress herself. Uh, too bad I couldn't find it again, it would require a lot of CC digging, but I think that this ice cream dress does suffice for now. Now, I've got a bit of history with our fifth sim, but let's go on and read his bio first. Leon's on a full-ride scholarship doing physics at Foxbury University. He always seems to get the top grades. He's a hard worker and has been tutoring the sciences since high school, yet he's charismatic and loved by his peers and friends. Work hard, play hard. What's not to love about him? Uh, well, word is that he is a bit of a heartbreaker and a serial romantic. <laughs> So his aspiration is to be an academic, but if we could pick another aspiration, it would definitely be serial romantic. Like I think that this guy is going to prioritize his studies over love, but they're certainly in tight competition. His traits are ambitious, self-assured, and non-committal. So I have a bit of history in that the wheel actually wanted Leon to be the romantic interest of the LP. Like we went to the romance festival and everything. It was all going well until right at the end of the festival when I think he didn't want to exchange phone numbers or something. That was when all hell broke loose on that LP and I think that was the last video I did before, you know, losing my save file. I actually didn't change much about him in this uh, video, I just updated his outfits, gave him a slightly different hair and better skin overlays. Two more to go you guys, I've got kind of a soft spot for this one. Davis Keeling is studying computer science at Foxbury University, but uni life is not quite living up to his expectations. His teachers are unenthusiastic, group projects suck, and he'd much rather stay at home and play video games. Yeah, same. <laughs> His family, though, isn't too happy that he isn't making school enough of a priority in their eyes. Rumor has it that he wants to be an esports player that would only bring disgrace to the family. Yet, it's the only dream that Davis has ever been serious about. So his aspiration is to be a computer whiz, and his traits are gloomy, geek, and lazy. I kind of like his character just because he's a very simple and average guy. Like, sometimes people who are too extraordinary are kind of hard to deal with, you dig. Uh, I dealt with a lot of overachievers in my high school, okay? Plus, I think he's very relatable and is probably very funny and sweet if you could break the ice with him. But we'll see what the wheel wants in our relationship moving forward. For our final sim, we've got Belinda McGowan. Belinda is excellent at her craft, and she damn well knows it. Her music career started when her parents uploaded videos of her playing classical piano and violin pieces on YouTube when she was just 10 years old. 
This has created a problem, though. As a young adult, Belinda is still micromanaged by her momager, who is clearly trying to ride on her fame for as long as she can. Will going to university finally help Belinda develop her own identity? Of course, she aspires to be a musical genius, and her traits are music lover, perfectionist, and hot-headed. I imagine Belinda to be hot-headed because she's probably always under pressure all the time, like from her adoring fans and most definitely from her momager. In the old LP videos, I was friends with Belinda but not quite as close as I was to Cadence. There was a moment actually when Belinda and I were hanging out at an art center and then Belinda suddenly disappeared. It's obviously just the game being dumb but considering her backstory, maybe she had to like rehearse something, I don't know. So that's it for today's cast video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I certainly had fun talking to you guys about my sims. They're like my babies. <laughs> Does anyone else get attached to their sims like that? Anyway, stay tuned for the first episode of my University Wheelspin LP Remastered coming out on Sunday this week. Also, I've got my own ideas for wheel spins, but if you guys have some spicy suggestions, please leave them down in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I really want to get to my 150 subscriber goal, you guys. <laughs> YouTube keeps purging my subscribers and it's really annoying. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!